Our next speaker for the day is uh, Andhra Chitra Vishwana. Chitra's course material is uh, first semester materials and methods in building construction. It's on uh, page eight of the book. I'm very passionate about uh, building construction itself, and also happy that I'm addressing the first year, first semester which I see it as the beginning of a journey for these new students. They come into architecture, no idea of you know, making some drawings is what they think, but it's all actually building. And how does one see that? And I want to see it in the first semester how it could be that, okay, you're teaching construction, building materials, etc., but also teaching a skill of seeing and absorbing. How do you do that? You go to different places to see buildings or just see anything, but you have to see and absorb so that you can relate it to the space you want to make. I'm not really digressing from much of the outline, but adding some more elements, making connections as well as breaking the box. I'd also like to introduce students to closer at home materials and techniques, thereby basing it a lot on Karnataka as a region. It, I have that issues with history too, but at least in construction methods, if it could start with Karnataka as a region in the first semester. How do you start the F5? So, so basically, <laughs> why learn construction? And Somehow, again, in structures as well as this, it has to relate to gravity, understanding why to build, and understanding why construction is, again, important for architects. So this should be maybe one hour or two hours lectures on that, understanding simple exercise of load carrying, what happens when you put a load, and so that's what buildings are. Then, as Deepa and Dinesh said, that they make some objects, but I would like that the objects we made along with building construction, material studies, but simple ones, again with paper and straw. And how do they take loads, practicals with it, then understanding, it's very important. Construction is not just making a drawing and then drawing some bonds and uh, T-junctions, and it's also labor. So I really like that the students carry the bricks, carry the stones, and they understand how much it weighs. You know, it's, it's not just you put it in, and then you relate it to, again, construction. So feeling of construction materials. Then look at the small, not look at very large structures, but get to the shelters. Again, Deepa Dinesh talked about it. That's why it's good to give a presentation a little late. You can bring in many inputs. So connect the two courses in the semester. Because also, we're very, very short of teachers. So why should we have faculty for each one separately? It, especially in the first semester, why not connect different courses together so that they are studying in the same manner, these different courses. So it's a, the threat remains one and easier for the kids when they come from uh, a school. And so study Ness, Burroughs, Termite Mount, whatever else one can think of. Uh, then shelter for the human, and here is where the differences should come in. Because you have schools in Gulbarga, you have schools in Bangalore, you have schools in Tumko. What, in that region, what are the different materials being used? And document the village type, slums, watchman quarters, MIG, HIG homes, whatever. And then so take a building and do a very, very rough section. And keep that section throughout the semester. And maybe that goes through from um, basic design, the same section remains there, to structures, to history, to building. And that section should be drawn, in my opinion, very bare, with hand, and retained. Then introduce, introduce construction history. That's something lacking. We all introduce all sorts of history, but it's important to understand construction history. Why? Why did we reach this stage of construction? And that should be parallelly going with architectural history. But in Karnataka and vernacular, 
both stone and earth and start with again this residential construction methods because it's easier to grasp at that age different building techniques in vernacular and why the changes are happening and introduce introduce the skill and techniques involved skill again comes into this and introduce that there are different players in a construction again if you're just going to draw different stuff it's not enough but who's going to do it and it's important to know the people who are involved so you have contractor masons and at what stages people come in when you're doing a construction when you start making some fun and thought soil is one of the best way everywhere available most easily work with cob and adobe so first start with cob because there you don't require any any unit per se and then introduce a unit as a construction unit and then reach brick so one understand why did brick happen then visit a kiln but also visit construction sites and understand how the t junctions or the corners are there because you make those drawings but you have no idea how they look in actual well if you're not visited it and similarly make a wall and then i think at this stage itself introduce stabilized mud blocks not because i use it a lot but because it's again very much karnataka based stuff and it is possible and one can look at it as a future building material itself but also where i don't see here is the students should know the different costs involved in the construction method and construction is not in only making the bond but it's also the finishing what happens with plastering in the first year itself introduce these and one thing which is missing is mortars mortar is a very important aspect and i think it should be dealt with very seriously and different kinds of plasters then then from brick one went to stone use of chisel understand the different kinds of stone dressings <coughs> and the teachers have to talk about other stones also because like here we have a nice geography lab where you see huge types of rocks we should have so many different stones and also how do they how are they used i think introducing kanadi's method of us those stone and concrete bl block structures would be good then the foundations of different kinds I think we should introduce laterite because it's a material used in <coughs> large parts of Karnataka. Then, why did concrete block came into the whole uh, scenario? Again, bring them, weigh them, carry them around. Introduce hollow clay blocks. Uh, is the same thing, and go to different factories. Cause timber. it's there quite a bit of detail is here in the outline but how is it different from wood again all the different timbers used in the contemporary construction then details of it i think it's not enough to just do a window detail but go to a sawmill and understand what wood really looks like and how a log can be used till the end of it what all different things can come out of a log visit a kiln to this is a ksfc to know how because that's one place where you can see how joinderies are done we introduce plywood a lot make timber joints and also again introduce the different kinds of glues which are used because nowadays a lot of it is not done by joinderies the glue which works in timber and the finishes the constraint we have in in our country bring in the sense of footprint and the body energy of a material goes into construction drawing details would be important and that's when you start looking at your section again the section which was drawn in the beginning how it would change in each stage in each material you introduced and how it changes the section i think you have the village study trips and it should be more on what the construction method and bringing the samples of the different materials used and understanding the skills so just thinking of that the course should be so constructed that the subjects like history structure basic design should all follow the same thing so in history we 
we begin with Karnataka, then Western, in structures if we learn mathematics of load transfer, safe bearing capacity and simple spanning details. Instead of this, I find the structure semester very, very difficult to understand and very complicated and it's a very short time. So, see, a history of architecture in sequence of near to far, see, we're looking at the hours in a collaborative approach, we can reduce repetition between the four courses at least in the first semester. Thank you.